Hi everyone, welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today we will be doing something different. We will be doing our male swimsuits. This is uh, going to be released with the video already available. And um, I made this as a non-reversible, mainly because um, I want to add some cups. Since this has no support on one of the sides, I, I think that it's much better for you to have the cups inserted inside so you are sure that the swimsuit stays in place and it's comfortable. So I did this test, it didn't go as I planned, but you can see here that, that I applied the cups on the inside, so they are here, hidden, but once the swimsuit is on, you will not be able to see this. So I'm going to tell you how I do this. We are going to show uh, our test uh, in a minute. So I'm going to tell you how to do this. Uh, and of course, if you want to try this as a reversible, you can. But as always, I um, design the patterns with a certain negative ease on my base block. So this means that this is designed to be a non-reversible. Mainly because of the cups and because of the neg negative ease. So now I'm going to start by cutting the fabrics for my front and my back, on my main fabric and on my lining. So today I also want to talk to you about a detail that I'm gonna try. So usually I have my cones, they are 100% polyester uh, and I like these ones, uh, they are quite resistant and they work well on my serger, on my overlock. But today I'm gonna try these ones, they are also 100% polyester but they uh, are completely different uh, texture. They they look like thin threads and you will see this in detail. I'm gonna film on my other camera and you will see that the threads are very very different. It looks like they will unfold at any minute but they are very very soft. They have a lot of elasticity and um, since I'm gonna do a non-reversible, the threads will be in contact with your body. So I think this will result on a much comfortable uh, swimsuit. So today I'm gonna try and use these threads. I am also going to change my needles on my machine. Uh, I have ballpoint uh, needles or jersey needles. Um, and I'm gonna use them, I'm gonna replace them and use new needles because sometimes when the needles are a bit worn out they uh, miss uh, some uh, points that we wanted and the, then the, the, um, the seam will not be perfect so I'm also going to replace my needles today and my needles are 70 uh, and they are for from Bernina my machines are Bernet so it's from Bernina and I'm gonna uh, use the 70 ballpoint needles. Since our pattern uh, doesn't have a fold line, I have to lay it flat on my, on my table to cut my pieces and the same for the back. Align your grain line with uh, your fabric and let's cut main and uh, lining. So uh, while I'm aligning my, my pattern on my fabric, uh, it may seem random because it's black, so you may think, oh, black, you can put the fabric uh, wherever and it will be okay. No, I have a specific side of my fabric that I love and the other one I don't love that much to, to reveal to the outside. So I choose the size, the side that I want. And since, since this is a um, asymmetric piece, you must be careful because the, the sides of the, um, of the strap must match the outside fabric with the outside fabric for the front, okay? So don't forget that. And while I was doing this, I also discovered that I don't have enough fabric. This is actually a pattern where you really need a lot of fabric. And um, I'm, I'm going to miss a spot here. Uh, well, I'm going to assume this, this is a problem because I really don't have fabric. I could uh, probably cut here and make a little bit here and sew, but I'm going to leave it as it is. I already know that uh, I have this piece missing. 
but uh, it is what it is so don't forget cut but take into consideration if you have a print or if you have a favorite side on your fabric to make sure that your um, pattern is cut with your uh, with the lines and all the annotations facing up so that it will match front with the back And if you are thinking why didn't I twist my pattern a little bit on the other fabric so that I was not missing that small part, I could twist the pattern, right? No, I don't do it because I want to keep always the grain line um, where it is supposed to be. And if I twist the pattern, the elasticity, the stretch of the fabric will change and this will affect the fit once my swimsuit is ready so I don't twist the pattern to solve that problem that's why I didn't twist the pattern okay uh, I think it's the first time I'm doing an all black I, I have never made all black so this is an experience for me because I don't know I, I, I know that black is a classic but I never I've never done a completely black um, swimsuit so this is interesting for me and using a uh, black thread with black uh, rubber elastic it's my first time so let's see the result so I'm gonna cut the lining I'm gonna fast forward and I'm gonna cut the lining so we can start uh, preparing to go to our sewing machine let's focus on our darts first uh, so this is my main fabric and this is the side that I want facing outwards so I just do like this and I pin my darts and we are going to do the same for the lining but don't forget to be careful because of the asymmetric cut you have to make sure that you uh, sew the darts on the correct side of the fabric okay I'm saying this because it has happened to me before and I know that it happens a lot for us to make mistakes when the pattern is asymmetric. So if this is my main fabric and my darts will be on that side, if this is my lining piece and it will be like this, so on with the same sides of the strap, my um, uh, seam will be facing the side of, of course, my inside of my main fabric so my seam will be here so I'm gonna pin and we can sew on our sewing machine with a straight stitch uh, we can sew the darts on both fabrics So my lining, uh, it's okay, I, I went and then I, I went back a few stitches, but on my main fabric I want my uh, point of my darts to be uh, very nice on the correct side, on the right side of the fabric, so I always do not go back with my stitch, I leave uh, the threads a bit longer and then I tie two knots and I cut. And this is how I do my darts um, on my on my main piece. If this was a reversible, I would use the two the same method on both fabrics. But since this is a non-reversible, it's okay like this. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna mark on my lining piece the exact place where I want to place my foam uh, pads. So I have my lining piece with my seams facing up on the table and I want to align my cups I, I want to space them two centimeters here in the middle and I want to line the center bust with uh, the direction of my dart so something that I can do to help me is I can fold my fabric on the dart area like this and this means that I will have a line where my um, bust point uh, is so I can mark 
this line with some pins or if you want you can use chalk uh, to mark this line to make it easier for you to uh, place the cups. Now we just need to find the middle, the center and again you can fold your fabric to find exactly where the middle is or you can see on the pattern and uh, use the pattern as a guide if you want So I have my center and I have my cups so I just need to align the edge there one centimeter and I'm gonna secure it with a pin and I'm going to do the same with this one. And I'm gonna secure the entire cup with pins and then I'm gonna check on my body if this is aligned. So I've checked on my body and I actually need, need to place them a little bit together here in the center. So I'm gonna remove all of this and place them again uh, more towards the center. I actually think probably and you need to adjust this to yourself. This is not something that I can tell you the exact measurement. You have to feel comfortable and you have to see which size, which where you want to place your cups to make you feel exactly how you want to feel. So, okay. So I'm gonna replace them and I'm gonna check again. Okay. I uh, place them where I want them to be and now I'm going to my straight stitch machine and using a straight stitch I'm going to uh, sew around here near the edge very near the edge all around the entire cups one side and the other So our cups are sewn to our lining and now uh, you would say the part that is going to be in contact with your body it's this side so probably I know you are thinking oh okay this looks fine I'm gonna leave it like this I don't think you should because it has some resistance when you press with your breast against this so you will pull the fabric when you do this and I don't think we uh, I would love if this was black because I want I like the good finish inside with all black but I don't have black uh, uh, insert padding so I'm gonna cut it very near the the line that I've just sewn and, and I'm gonna cut it because I think the fit will be much better if you want you can try like this until the end of your uh, sewing and then once you try it on you will see that um, it will fit much better if you cut this, so I'm gonna cut it. Now 
now if uh, you would sew this uh, with the reversible method so you won't see any um, seams on the outside uh, you wouldn't do as I'm going to do but uh, as I told you I'm gonna sew this uh, as an unreversible and it was designed as an unreversible so I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna match my back with my front okay it's on this side and I'm gonna sew uh, everywhere basically well here on top and then the sides I'm gonna pin and I'm also going to pin on the crotch area so sides top strap and crotch area pin all together and do the same for your main fabric So before I do my main piece, I'm just going to sew on my overlock or serger uh, all the pieces that we've pinned, so the crotch, the top of the strap and the sides. Now this is something that I always tell on the asymmetric patterns and I'm gonna do it here with uh, you together so that uh, we make sure that this is okay. Um, so the side where we don't have the seam so as you can see despite I'm always saying the same I did did I did the mistake again so what did I do wrong <laughs> this is the side that is going to be in contact with our body remember the side that we cut it and the side where our darts were so perfect this was the side this is the side that is going to be in contact with you so of course if this is the side it's going to be in contact with you you do not want the seams facing you so I should have done uh, the seams on the other side so this is not okay uh, but uh, I have two options I throw this away or I cut everything everywhere and I will uh, sew again and in this case my option will be a third I'm gonna leave it as it is but please uh, be aware so that this doesn't happen to you uh, make sure you remember which side of the fabric is going to face your body and do uh, please do the seams um, uh, on the reverse side so it will not face your body okay so now that we have our lining despite it's not perfect and, and our side seams will be facing our body uh, we will prepare the other the out, outer fabric uh, so we have to imagine that we will insert this inside our outer fabric so th if this is facing my body I'm gonna reverse this like this and I'm going to pretend okay that I'm here inside the, the swimsuit right so I need to make sure that I'm sewing this side correctly like this so my back and my front from my outer fabric will be like this so the with the with the the strap on the same side of the lining so that's very important okay and now we will sew our main fabric again right sides facing together but this time we are not going to do any mistakes we are gonna sew uh, the insides of our uh, seams so my outer fabric uh, is facing with the right side facing up on my table this is my front I have my back on top of my front I placed on top of the front and I just need to pin the, the, the strap, the sides and the crotch. So I couldn't leave it like it was the lining so I've just uh, removed all the threads and I'm gonna do the, the lining again to make sure that uh, the seams are correct uh, and then I'm gonna sew the, the main piece which I have already pinned so I'm pinning again my lining front on top 
with the sides, the correct side is facing up, uh, is facing down, so it's inside here. And then I just placed my back and I'm pinning on this side and I'm going to sew on this side. So now that we have both our pieces uh, ready, uh, we will place the, the lining inside our main fabric with the seams aligning facing each other. So as I told you, I corrected my lining. So my seams are now facing away from my body. And so inside I will not have any seams. So I can have my outer fabric with the outside uh, facing outwards and I'm going to insert my lining inside my main fabric. I'm going to start by aligning here just roughly and placing some clips just to match uh, more or less the fabrics. This is all like this because of the of the support of the pads that we inserted here. So seams facing each other. Align all the swimsuit together. Pin around all the areas because we will go to our serger to sew the entire swimsuit placing elastic with a bit of tension on the elastic and we are gonna see how this turned out so now for now I'm gonna pin the entire swimsuit leg holes, neckline, back, everywhere just a small detail bit before I start pinning since I want to apply the elastic on the side of my lining, I prefer placing the pins with my lining facing up on the table. So I'm going to revert the, the, the swimsuit with my lining facing me on the table. So when I pin, I'm sure that when going to my sewing machine, I don't forget placing the elastic on the right side. So the elastic will be on our lining, not on our main fabric. So I'm not going to pin everything because it's too much, too many pins for me. I ju I've just done the back and the leg holes and I'm gonna do them and then I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna do the front, okay? So just pin and now we will apply the elastic on the side of our lining. So we've done the back, applying the elastic, and we have done the leg holes. Now we will just pin the, uh, the entire neckline and do the entire neckline. And then we will be um, ready to do the top stitch. It's quite simple, now that we have all our swimsuits, uh, with the elastic attached. The threads, as I told you, are very, very soft. I loved uh, sewing with them. Even in, in contact with the body, they are so soft. I love them. So I'm gonna reverse the, the swimsuit to the right side. And here it is, finished. And now, uh, to, to um, finished almost. And now, to finish our swimsuit, we just need to go to our sewing machine, the straight stitch machine, fold the fabric 
and do a zigzag stitch, a top stitch all along the, all the edges where we have applied the elastic and our swimsuit will be ready. If you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel, please do so. If you have questions or anything, let us know. And stay until the end so you can see a picture of how it turned out uh, and it, how it looks on your body. So, see you soon!